What are signs? Uh, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. It seems that you are up in your mind at night, but have no fright because there's going to be justice with the situation that's keeping you up in your sights. Okay, you're going to reach the completion of the end of the situation. By the way, that you are very emotional about. Right? Hun. But, um... What do we got next here? Let's go to this death card in reverse, in the rear. So what this means is, is with your death card in reverse, there's something that's ending, but you're not letting it, and you need to let it end and let it go and put that mother in a hearse. You understand? Okay. Because once you do that, you have the, the star card here that does shortly appear. So basically letting you know whatever you're wanting and wishing upon, just know it's going to come to fruition for you, some idea. And this is actually in the earthly physical realm because this is diamonds. So this is Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy, but most importantly, also sign of Aquarius because of the star, but saying that. You're wishing and wanting, you are, and you're gonna get it. And it's gonna be shown to you through signs and synchronicities with this number seven here, starting something new that you're fiery and passionate about. Um, also a sign of Leo, just so your ass is clear, because whatever this situation is, it's going to be resolved and it will end, even though your death card is in reverse, but now your ass knows it, so you're gonna make a change, right? Okay. So, but we're going to be led into some hermit mode here, okay? Going within, going into meditation, contemplation, um, and figuring things out for your future. To be clear, now you have here this, another number seven, so signs and synchronicity is going to be shown to you. But what most importantly is that this is... A sign of a tug and war, a push and a pull, some conflict, some situation, if you will. But it's in reverse. So meaning whatever that conflict is, the situation that uh, you are not allowing to end, um, it's gonna, okay? And this devil energy will soon be behind you. So what is our devil energy here? We have addictions. We have abuses of all kinds. Like I like to say, hopefully not of people. But of things, of whatever, you know, of time. I don't know. But regardless, you are the queen, or you do have the queen of Earth on your mind. Also, sign of Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. No, this is heart, so this is actually you, water energy, my bad. But just being, you know, a woman that is very passionate, compassionate, and um, very emotionally balanced with all that she does. Here, here. Okay, because you do have what? Oh, we see the snake in our jewels. It pops up once again. What a coincidence! dink. What a coincidence! tinky too. My friends, but anyways, F all that. The point here is that you're going to be shown this soul revival through, again, another number seven appears. So that's now times three. The Holy Trinity, my body and spirit. But most importantly... With this here, you're going to have a soul revival, a soul increase, okay? You're going to be shown things are going to bloom and blossom with the sun for you because you're ready to go. You're ready to blossom. You're ready to bloom. This is the chariot card here. It's not only saying movement within your life and your situation, but actually also possibly a trip in your future. So is motherfucker every seven head on popped out now on all suits and sides but also you notice you have these two horses here they are horses of two different colors one on each side and what they mean is, is duality you know the balance of yin and yang uh the good the bad the dark and the light the good the bad bitch and the ugly okay and after you do that and after you go into this hermit mode and figure all this out and go on that trip something new is gonna start up in your side thank you so much for watching your girl d kennedy elevate yourself please like share and subscribe if you give a fuck from the top bell three times again notified bye